What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you an advanced visibility feature inside of Cubase that will help you customize your visibility filters. So let's get right to it. So if you remember my last video, we talked about the basic visibility filters that come with Cubase. And if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to go ahead and link it on the top right corner of this video right now. I suggest you go look at that video first so you can get an understanding if you don't know how to do it yet, how to use the basic functions of visibility. But today we're going to talk about some advanced features that come with Cubase that will allow you to customize your very own filters so that you can see instruments or channel types that you want to see at any given point. So so the first thing we need to do is we need to enable this configurations tab on the top left of the Cubase project. And if you don't see this, we're going to go over here to the gear sign and go to where it says track visibility configurations. Once that is checked, you're going to see that it says configurations. And if I hit this drop down menu, watch what happens. I have a bunch of presets of different MIDI instruments that I want to see when I'm creating my scores. So this is my massive film scoring template, which has over 800 tracks in it. So if I scroll down, you're going to see that the list just goes on and on and on with outputs and submixes in here. But of course, when I'm working, I don't always want to see all of these tracks. I want to have it ready to go. So if I need it, I could play it, but I don't want to see it all the time. So what happens is, is that I want to create filters for the tracks that I do want to see at a given point and that's exactly what I did so taking some time to create these tracks and then separating them is definitely a very good workflow tip that I can give you just set aside like an hour or two on the weekend and figure this out and you're gonna see that it will help you tremendously especially if you have a project with a ton of tracks in it so if I go ahead and press woodwinds for example you're gonna see that now instead of 800 tracks I'm only seeing my woodwinds here and I do have my submix of all of the tracks here so I can control independent volume but if let's say I didn't want to see that I could just go to the left side the visibility side and I can go down to the submix here and then just check it off if I don't want to see it just like that and now I literally only have the cine winds sample libraries with me here now, if I wanted to save the change here, I could just go here and put update configuration, but we're gonna go and we're gonna create a preset from scratch so you can see the entire process. So I'm gonna go back to where it says all. So it's gonna show me all 800 tracks again. So here I have my entire window. And let's say for this one, I wanna create some kind of template where I only see uh, woodwinds, I want to see the pianos, and I want to see my submix. So I'm going to go here on this little tab, and I'm going to go to add configuration. It's going to prompt you to type out a name. So I'm going to call this woodwind plus pianos plus the submixes of these channels. It's going to automatically populate it at the bottom. Let's say you wanted to put it in number 23 for some reason. Then you can just go here, move configuration position to number 23. And when I press that, it would just automatically put it here. And then everything that came after, it'll just drop it up a number or down in this case. After doing that, we can now go over here and click the ones we want to see. So for example, I want to see Cine winds. I don't want the brass. I don't want the percussion. I don't want drums. We only want the piano, woodwinds, and submix. So I'm going to keep going down the list. I don't want any voices. So those are my choirs and stuff. And then I don't want my strings. And now I want to keep my, I don't want the VST instruments. So I have individual strips for each of these. So it's like the submix of each of these um, instruments. So I have a piccolo, flute oboe, oboe 2, and then I have an entire wind submix. So that's the one I want to see, and that's the one I have down here. So now when I look at my visibility options, you're going to see it says Cine Winds, I'm going to see my piano, and I have my submix here. Now, when you edit a filter, you're going to see a little asterisk appear next to the name to the left. You're going to open that, and all you need to do is hit Update Configuration, and now this filter type is saved. So if I want to recall this, if I go back to All, and in my music, I see that I want to go to the part where I'm only playing winds piano and I just want to see the submix. I can go to this and find it where it says woodwinds piano and it was number 23. 
submixes, and there you go, it's there. Again, this is a very useful tool to kind of get used to and adapt and incorporate into your workflow. Even though it's gonna take some time to get used to, I highly recommend to set this up, especially if you're using a separate machine. The reason why I can fit all of these instruments here is because I have a custom PC built just to host my sample libraries, and I'm using Vienna Ensemble Pro to link these instruments from one computer to another. This is obviously a Mac, so the only way they can communicate with each other is through the VEP, the Vienna Ensemble Pro. I'll be making a future video on the PC, what the custom build is, what I have in it, and also how you can link it from one machine to another using VEP that will come in the future, so stay tuned for that video. Same can be said for the mixing console. You can also do configurations in here of whatever you wanna do, but it's literally the same process. You're just gonna add configurations and then you're gonna open the left tab and see the visibility that you have and create your configurations based off of that. That is the advanced feature of the visibility filters inside of Cubase. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go ahead and check it out. Also down below in the description, I'm gonna leave my link to the Patreon where you can donate a little as a dollar a month. This will help support the channel and all donations will be greatly appreciated. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.